All right, this is the first section of chapter eight. Um, remember, take notes. Uh, there are some of you that have been told that you don't have to, uh, but that's up to you. Okay. Uh, remember, basically what I do is in, in order to reward you uh, for taking quizzes and doing well on them uh, and focusing, if you get on average for the chapter a 96 or higher, uh, you do not have to, you are not required to take notes for the next chapter. Just a public service announcement from your friendly neighborhood, uh, me. Okay, so adding and subtracting polynomials, students will be able to, guess what, add and subtract polynomials, okay? I know, tricky. Uh, a monomial, you can read the definition, here are some examples. Uh, okay, no, 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 notice, oh that it says a product. Okay. One of the things is that doesn't make it a monomial is if the uh, variable is in the denominator. Okay. All right, the degree of a mononomial, read the definition, uh, non-zero constant. So the first thing that we're gonna do is solve questions dealing with the degree of a monomial. Okay, so I'm gonna move ahead. Okay, finding the degree of a monomial. What is the degree of each? Remember the degree of a monomial is the exponent that goes along or the sum of exponents. So in this case, this one would be one. Okay. Uh, what would this, remember this one, we're, we're only dealing with variables. So we're talking about the X and the Y, and we're going to combine them. So we should get five. And then anything that is a constant has a degree of zero. Okay. So if we go back to the definition real quick, a degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of its variables. The degree of a non-zero constant, zero. Zero has no degree. Okay. All right, so those are the three. Uh, a polynomial is a monomial or a sum of monomials. Uh, okay, so we've got this. This is... Um, We add these together and we would have a polynomial. Uh, standard form is when they're arranged from highest degree to lowest degree, okay? Uh, and the degree of a polynomial is the highest degree of any one monomial in the polynomial. Okay, so you can look at this, uh, pause it and see what you need to feel like you write down. Okay, classify. So write each polynomial in standard form. Remember, standard form is going from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. So this one we would write 4x squared plus 3x. Okay, what is the name of the polynomial based on its degree and number of terms? Well, it's got two, so this is called a binomial. Okay. All right, so now we want to write this one in standard form, and then we want to name it what type is it? Okay. Try that one. See what you find out. Oh, look, a word problem. Okay, so a reacher. Blah, blah, blah. I'll let you read it. The question says in each polynomial, x equals zero corresponds to the first year and the five year period. What polynomial models the total number of overnight stays in both campgrounds and backcountry? Basically, we're adding. So we're gonna add these two together. Remember, we have to add like terms. We can't add x's and x squareds because they're different. So we're gonna add these together. So we add these two and we should get, okay? We add these two together. We add these two together. So add vertically, we can add them up and down, or we can add side to side. Okay. So there are several different ways to do it. I know it's small, you might need to pause it um, to get the full gist of what it says. Okay. All right, subtracting. All right. So basically this is the side by side method, and we're going to leave the first part alone if you ever want to try something on your own before I do it, pause it before I start writing. Okay. 
Okay, that's what the beauty is of this whole process is you can pause it. So x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x. And now I'm going to take this times everything in that parentheses. So negative times 7x cubed is negative 7x cubed. Negative times positive is negative 5x squared. And negative times negative 12 is now positive 12. So now I'm going to go through the process of adding like terms. So I have this one and this one. I have this and this. And then these other two are all by themselves. So sad. So x cubed minus 7x cubed is negative 6x cubed. We have negative 3x squared minus 5x squared is negative 8x squared. We have the plus 5x, so sad, all alone, and then the plus 12. Okay. Good, good. All right, last one. What is the simpler form of this? Guess who gets to do that? That's right. That's you. 